Hi there. I'm going to show you how to make a video walkthrough for your app using some pretty standard software. Now, in this case, I'm going to be focusing on Adobe XD, which does have a built-in record function. Many software does, but I'm going to just ignore that and take a more general approach so that what I show you will work with everything. Feel free to take these notes and just play with them um, and mix and match with whatever software you're using. I'm sure you're going to do an incredible job. Adobe XD using the world's simplest app. It's just going to be an example for this process. So we'll go up the top here and press play. You can see that this does have a built-in recorder. We can record the screen, but we're going to ignore that for now because we're keeping things nice and simple. I'm going to click on of language and grammar, book time, and I'm booked. There we are. So how can we get this and put this in an attractive way? Well, I'm going to use software called Camtasia. And Camtasia, it is a paid for software, but they do have a free trial. So for a student project, it's totally great. So here we are. I'm just going to start uh, recording. And what I can do is I can choose what I'm recording. I can actually record myself. I don't want that. Um, I got a microphone, which I do want, and I'm going to select, hmm, how am I going to do this? I can select a iPad space. I'm just going to go and do the whole lot. I mean, nice and easy. So the whole screen, microphone selected. There we are. So I'm going to start recording. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to my Tutor Me app. I'm going to click on the language and grammar lesson, which I want to learn, and I want to book in at 11 o'clock. Hooray, I'm done. And there we are. So I've now recorded my video. Let's go up the top here and say stop recording. And we're going to jump into, right, let's minimize this, jump into here. So let's play this back. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm welcome to choose me. I'm going to click on the language and grammar lesson. There we are. So what can we do to make this better? So first, I'm going to save this on the desktop because, hey, I know that we can lose files. Super simple. I'm going to call this Tutor Me. And I don't want to have to redo this. Saving your work as you go is super important. One problem is the sound quality is generally quite rubbish. So I'm going to go here and say export audio only. This step is optional, but it does make your work more professional. I go for desktop, the name doesn't matter. Choose a WAV file, it's higher quality than anything else. And the options, mono, don't bother with smoothing, and 44,000 hertz is great. So I'm going to go and export that. It's going to take a matter of seconds. Reveal in Finder. My Finder is right here. I'm going to right click and open with Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is part of the Creative Crown suite. Again, it is paid for software, but there is a free trial. So if you're doing a student project, this is going to be completely fine. Now, there is a whole lot of things you can do in Adobe Audition, and there's a whole video I've made on that. So if you're watching on YouTube, look above and you'll see a link. Um, or look in the description, you'll find a link to my video on how to make your sound professional. I'm going to make my life easy. I'm just going to favorite and voice. That is me just doing everything in one go. I've made my life super simple. The other thing you want to do is talk about matching loudness. Now you can get through this in many ways. Um, just effects match loudness brings up this box here. Drop the file into there. And we want to go to minus 23 LUFS. Don't worry what that means. That just means it's going to be television quality um, volume. That's done. I can click save, close down audition, and then I can go into Camtasia, drag the sound file in, and then drag that right over the top there. Even though the sound waves look very similar, if not identical, the top one is going to have a much richer sound. The video explaining that really does give you an example of how the sound quality is better. So here we are. That is not looking very good, is it, when you think about it, because that's just showing you a small part of the app. It's not showing you the whole screen. 
let's, let's make this more impressive. So let's start off by taking the crop button and just cropping out everything which is not the app. Just go round about there. I believe that's about right. Then on the left hand side of Camtasia, we have a whole load of options. The one I want is called device frame. I take that, I drag it onto there. And what it does is it puts your picture in a frame. So we'll see here it's got a computer. It's not very good. Let's go for an iPhone. Yay, that's much better. Now we we'll see that this version here is an iPhone, not sure, was that iPhone 6? It's a bit old. Now I'm using the version 2020 for Camtasia. Your version might be better. So what I can do firstly is back over here, save this. I don't want to make any more work than I have to. I can click the plus, sorry, I can click properties. Sorry, <laughs> download more. And that will bring up the browser. My browser over here gives me the option of downloading a whole load of different templates. So let's just go on to um, device frames. So I'm going to give that a little bit of time. I'm going to choose just the free ones because I don't want to pay, but hey, if you've got a deep pocket, then feel free. And you can see here, there's a whole load of different frames that you can have, which may be good or bad for your project. I don't know which one I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna choose, that's a Pixel, that's the iPhone 8. I'm gonna choose, now let's have a look, what do I use? In XD, that's going to be a really, really good help. If I close this down, I chose an iPhone X, right? That's going to, that is quite a bit bigger than an iPhone 8. Might have to do a bit of a fudge job, but that's okay because everything is about making things work the best possible. So I could choose one of these. It's the only ones with free written on it. Um, okay, you know what, I'm going to stick with how it is and show you how to fudge it. You might want to sign in, download one of these and go for it. That's your choice. If you find that useful, let me know in the comments. So over here, the way I'm going to fudge this is quite simply, I... How am I going to do that? Let me have a think, let me have a think. If I remove the device frame, take that off. I can go to my design and I can make it smaller so I can cut off maybe the bottom part and that is realistic because when you have apps that are too long for the screen they do cut the bottom off so this is a very realistic way. Another idea is to make sure that you are using a template which you already have available for Camtasia. So let's have a look at that. How does that look? That is looking better. Now I could go on for this for a lot longer and I could really make this work incredibly well. Um, but I think this will do for now. We'll get the picture of how this works. So I'm going to zoom in and see how this looks. Welcome to my Choose Me app. I'm going to click on the language and grammar lesson to learn. I want to book in at 11 o'clock. So you'll see that that is okay, but we've got a whole lot of talking afterwards, so I've now which is not very good. And we've got dead space start. So let's just go over here, select both tracks, and go for the double pushes. Delete those, select these, and move them across. Let's do it again to show you. I select there, double pushes, split it and delete. So we've now got a app which and welcome to my choose me app. I'm gonna click on the So that walkthrough is quite nice. Let's go a little bit further. So what else can we do? What else is appropriate? Well, we can add type gestures. So when we see actions happening such as clicking 
on the lesson, which is there. I can take a tap from the gestures effects right the there and just drop that onto the screen. See, just there. Look at that. Which one? I want to book in at 11 o'clock. Let's do another one. A little bit. Tag, place, and release. So we've now got two. On the language and grammar lesson. All right, there's one. I want to book in at 11 o'clock. There's two. So we're almost done. What we can do is add some more features to this video to make it more premium. Let's have a look what we do. Go to the library, go for, hmm, what should we do? The Camtasia library, there's, there's motion backgrounds, there's lower thirds, intros, icons, music. Let's add some music. Now, I think Gears of Steel sounds good. Yeah, um, that's good. I'm going to take this and just drag it onto that part there. It's a bit slow at the start, so I'm going to just wipe off the first part, take my cursor along to the end, and I'm going to drop it just there. Fortunately, everything happens to end at that point. Let's zoom in. Yeah, I've got a nice little quiet bit there. So I just cut everything. Oops. Cut everything and delete those. And we've now got some background music. Background music is going to be much louder than the main app. If I try and play it now, don't know if you can hear that, but the background track is swampy. It. So I'm just going to click on that, go to properties, and take this down to a cool 10%. That's really nice. I know I play this now. Me. It's a nice little background piece. I might make that a bit louder, a bit softer, depending on what things do, but I'm happy for now. So let's do some more. Let's do the last bit. Let's give this an intro. That's going to go right at the top here. Intros. Um, hmm. Which one shall I do? I know from experience that sliding background is quite a nice one. So I'm going to take this and drag this over here. So. I'm also going to reduce its time to three seconds. Because actually, let's go two seconds. One, two. No, three seconds. Three is the magic number. And I can take my background track, I can take my soundtrack and my video track, drag it across to see it just clicks there. So let's have a look at this. I open up the plus, which is right here. I can see that this can need a little bit of work. These are the texts that go over. So just change the time frame. And I'm going to write tutor me app. I'm going to give this example. Let's have a look. How does this look when I play? Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that'll do for now. I can go and maybe change the text to be something a bit bolder. Let's go for red. And the example one, let's go for another color again. Now we can spend a lot of time really honing in on things, but that's going to do for now. It's just an example. Let's go back to the main timeline and we'll see that. It fades out. So if we just move this across, what you'll see is that Hello, and to my it actually is a nice bit. There we are. So that's worked really great. So you see that as this fades out, the video is revealed. Unfortunately, the background track is now starting a few seconds too late. We've got to silence the nothing. So I can just take the background track, drag that right to the left, expand all the way. And then just drag to the end. Now, before we were ending at a low note in the music, so that worked really well. Yeah, that's fine. So let's now watch 
my very quick example video of Tutor Me app. Hello and welcome to my Tutor Me app. I'm going to click on the language and grammar lesson which I want to learn and I want to book in at 11 o'clock. Hooray, I'm done. And there you are, that is it. That is making a very simple walkthrough prototype app using some pretty basic software. Now I could have made this much better. So I could have done a bit more searching for templates and devices that fit the iPhone X design I'd use for, or maybe I could have changed my design to fit the iPhone 8. I could have um, not recorded the mouse when I was recording, so I wouldn't have that in the way. And I could have worked on the audio a lot better. I know at the very end, the sound just stops. What I could do is go to the end of the track, cut the little piece off, and then just move that into the end. So that end transition of the music piece does fit in well with the whole, whole thing. However, what I've done is something which does work. And if you were showing this for a basic prototype, so maybe for student projects, you're going to do great. Would I use this for a big stakeholder meeting? Yes, but I would have done those extra things and put that time in and to get the polish. But this is the example. The good thing to know is that other recording software is available and other editing software is available. If you're on a Mac, iMovie is fantastic for recording, um, so for editing pieces together. You've got QuickTime on a Mac, which does a fantastic job at recording. Actually, I recorded that middle bit using QuickTime rather than Camtasia, so I can actually get the behind the scenes pieces. And if you don't have Adobe Audition, you can use Audacity. It's free and everything which I show in my video on make your video sound professional does work in there. So you are free to take these very basic techniques, polish them up better and produce something which is going to show what your app is to a wide range of users.